believe it? You've just took on some of the best mercenaries in the Freestar Collective and cut right through them. <clears throat> if we'd have had more like you in the war, we could have planted our flag in New Atlantis. You fought because you had to, and you fought well. <clears throat> Don't apologize for that. More importantly, you survived. Most soldiers don't. I know, because I'm the one who led them to their death. You don't know what it's like to look around and see the faces of warriors who trusted you to lead them as they die screaming. I watched brave men and women torn limb from limb by monsters. I saw mech pilots cooked alive in their cockpits as their machines burned. <clears throat> Those deaths didn't have to be meaningless, but spineless leaders gave up on us even when victory was within our grasp. You really want to know? Because you might not like the answer. Last chance, deputy. You can walk away right now and remain blissfully ignorant, thinking you fight for a noble cause. But if you still want the truth, <laughs> I'll shatter that illusion for you right now. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not long after I started the first, I was contacted by a man who said he represented someone wealthy and influential. <laughs> I refused to work for a shadow client, so we agreed to set up a meeting. Imagine my surprise when Ron Hope showed up. He offered me a lucrative contract to take possession of certain farms throughout Freestar Space. To keep the Rangers off the sun, Hope wanted to hit a lot of places quickly and finish whatever he was doing before word spread. We needed another ship to meet his timetable, so he gave us the intel necessary to steal one from his factory. It also let him play the victim and keep suspicion to a minimum. <clears throat> All I know is that after we cleared the place out, Hope was sending in some kind of machinery. Our job was to make sure nobody saw the operation. The credits were good, but yeah, getting some payback was the real reward. Don't bother. I'm gonna make this easy for you, deputy. I'm gonna die the way I lived. Weapon in hand, no compromise, no fear. But first, here, take this. Use it to cut out the weakness rotting at the heart of the Freestar Collective. When the next war comes, <laughs> and it will come, the Collective needs to be strong. Now my unit's waiting for me, and I'm gonna report for duty one last time. Goodbye, Deputy.
complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables. for the extended warrant. We just won't need it. Vicious quotes. You met every one of them. Well, I won't pretend it was easy, but everyone pulled together and we got it done. I'll let you share the good news whenever and Enjoy your visit however to you like. If you'll excuse Thanks. me. I, I appreciate that. You missed the tour? Yeah, this is where it happens. Listen, I ain't exactly customer facing, so just go on your way and neither of us will get in trouble. You do? Well, I guess we'll see. So here is the factory floor where you get to see me wrangle a bunch of morons into, oh, I don't know, doing their damn job. Most of them are farmers, come here to make it rich. It's my job to drum some experience in them, kicking and screaming if need be. If you want to ask questions, make it quick. We got a tight delivery coming up. Every rivet, every piece of plating goes through my team. If you've got a Hope Tech ship, it means I've crawled through every inch of her at least once. Paulvo was just some nowhere dead ender until Ron Hope had a dream. Let's build sturdy, dependable ships. No nonsense, none of that damn Tayo glitz and glamour. Just a ship that flies right and will get you where you need going. Ron hopes a goddamned hero. Sure, it was a pleasure and all that bullshit to talk with you. Something more you need, deputy? Good to see you again. Well, I've just received a report from the marshal about your progress. He said you had a promising lead on the mercenaries who stole my ship. I trust you're here with good news? Of course. What have you learned? The same Paxton Hull who was court-martialed during the Colony War? Well, I've, I've never met the man, and, and I can't imagine why he'd make an accusation against me. That two-faced bastard kept the slate. Oh, I suppose this is his revenge against the Council of Governors for what happened during the war. <laughs> I'm impressed, Deputy. It's clear you have a bright future ahead of you. What's going on? What is this about, Mr. Hope? Nothing that concerns you, Birgit. In fact, why don't you make yourself scarce? I think I'd like to hear what the Deputy has to say. Cards are on the table. So why not? The truth is, we've been falling behind the competition. <laughs> Significantly so. We needed solutions. A few years ago, I began to diversify. We started to research chemicals, fuel, those sort of things. We developed an experimental fertilizer. <laughs> and it failed utterly. It wiped out entire crops. I was prepared to write the whole thing off. When we made a discovery that changed everything, 
Turns out, our fertilizer was transforming the soil, bolstering its mineral content tenfold. We donated the fertilizer to select homesteads and let the farmers do the work. And when the time was right, we cleared the farm and brought in machinery to harvest the mineral-rich soil. The reduction in labor and materials costs sent my profits soaring. I never intended for anyone to be hurt. I told Hull to buy the land, not take it by force. Unfortunately, farmers can be stubborn folk. And I couldn't risk any witnesses. I can't believe what I'm hearing. How could you do something so... so awful to innocent people? To families? Not another word out of you, Birgit! I can take your job. And more. We'll discuss this later. In any case, I suppose the gig is up. I give you my word that I'll call off the operation and return the land to its rightful owners. You're right, yeah. Those families deserve to be compensated for the uh, inconvenience. Hmm, well, uh, perhaps a discount on their next purchase from Hope Tech. With that resolved, let's talk about you. As a member of the Council of Governors, I'm authorized to award you a substantial bonus. And of course, we'll both agree to forget about my little cost-cutting endeavor. Well, let's not be too hasty, Deputy. There's something else you need to consider. I'll do what's necessary protect my company and my employees. If you tell anyone about this, you're risking their livelihoods. Do you really want to put all these people out of work and make their families suffer? I'm afraid there's no avoiding it. The past can't be changed. But the future is very much in your hands, Deputy. You put me away, and this company will fall apart. You have destroyed far more lives than I did. I'll make myself very plain. I won't let you jeopardize my reputation. This company or the people who work for me. If that means you suffer an unfortunate incident at the hands of my security personnel, so be it. I'm important. You're nothing. You're not actually threatening to attack a Freestar Ranger, are you? Such a shame to see a promising career cut so tragically short.
tried to have you killed. I don't understand. Mr. Hope always seemed like such a good person. But everything he said about the farmers and hiring those mercenaries, it was so awful. No, you're wrong. That's not all he was. He always looked out for us, for his employees. No, of course not. But there was more to him than that. He had a genuinely good side, a caring side. And now he's... You. You killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? That's... That would be Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. Yes? What? <laughs> Workers like to play hard here. They deserve it. Too much to ask for.
Hey, deputy. A lot of famous people visit Aquila. Popping back a beer. Good to see you back Real. safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? Wait, you're saying it was Ron Hope who hired the first? Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? In that case, I won't hold you back any longer. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. You've shown that faith was well placed. Let's hear it for our new ranger. Woo! Wait a minute. Something you need from oh, me? Nothing for now. Came to talk, actually. Well, to a God, really the heart I'm impressed of how
so much power kept going out. Got anything you need to offload? Trade Authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. Need some work done? Okay, no problem. should inspect your ship for heat. Sure, how about it? Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. What can I do? Okay, no problem. 